The Boys and Girls Club Wiregrass is under new management. News 4's Michaela Simmons shares the changes this new leader hopes to bring and the impact they plan to leave on the kids. Philip Gilly, the former chief executive officer of the Boys and Girls Club Wiregrass, is taking a step back and has appointed someone new. At her name, she was on the board of directors at the Ozark Boys and Girls Club, and her son went to the Boys and Girls Club in Ozark. He's talking about Laura Bruce. She has the passion for helping kids, so that's where it is. And I told her when we interviewed, I said, you know, you can learn all the other stuff. You can learn how to do budgets, and you can learn how to write grants and all the other things. But Bruce is the new chief executive officer of the Boys and Girls Club Wiregrass. She has been working with children for years. She says her main goal is to bring the best out of those children and continue to let them shine. I can't even put a, a I'm still in awe about this opportunity. Um, it's taken me back to my childhood growing up in Brooklyn where we didn't have a boys and girls club, but we had a center. Bruce says she wants to pick up where Gilly left off and continue being a helping hand with the children. She plans to bring back programs kids used to know and love. One of the things also I would love to um, just kind of get back to the basics of literacy and the writers. I mean, we have we have such talented children. They are talented. And her plan for new additions. We have some little actresses and actors there too. So tapping into the, the arts with these students as well, I want to see more of that. Bruce is ready to conquer this role and cannot wait to help the children of the Wiregrass. That's how I lead by serving. It is, this is a, you are serving. And that's what you have to keep in mind. It's about them. It's not about me. It's about them. In Dothan, Makayla Simmons, your hometown news leader. The last day to register your child for winter break was today. Depending on how many children signed up, the club could possibly close.